Hi, I'm Kevin Arboway, and I'm here to tell you about my experience with the BFF, the Bentonville Film Festival. Um, honestly, I didn't know what to expect when I got there. Uh, when I landed at the airport, I was kind of taken aback about how much actual signage uh, was at the airport talking about the festival, how much, you know, um, presence that it had. Uh, the town itself, Bentonville, is beautiful. Uh, I thought for a second it was kind of like the Stepford Wives. I thought everyone was kind of a robot, uh, but it turns out they're all real. Um, and it is just a beautiful, progressive town that was very welcoming. Um, as far as festivals go, and I, I've been to Sundance, I, I've been to Cannes, I've been to you know all these different film festivals. I was shocked at how uh, large and put together this festival was for being only in the second year. Um, my experience with the panels, and usually when you go uh, to a panel at any other festival, um, there is a large gap between the filmmakers and the actual uh, people attending the festival and the panelists. They usually can't even really talk to them. It's more of like a, uh, uh, a lecture, if you will, and then people just sort of go. But this is very different. This was very inclusive. They really wanted to hear what we had to say. Uh, which goes to the spirit of inclusiveness uh, for the festival. Um, I think what Gina Davis and, uh, and Trevor have done is recognize the large black hole of diversity in the film industry and realize that there are women and um, people of color that want to not only make films that reflect who they are as, uh, as an individual, but also make films that can show a more universal theme from a very different angle. Because I certainly know that, you know, you take riding the subway, we all ride the subway, right? But my experience on the subway is very different from a, a woman's uh, perspective on a subway. So it's a general story from a different perspective. Um, since the festival has finished, uh, <laughs> Uh, I actually was hired to adapt and direct a best-selling international novel, um, which is obviously very exciting. I'm starting that within the next month. Also met with Shannon McIntosh, who was one of the panelists there, who, as you know, or should know, she is Quentin Tarantino's producer. We ended up meeting and hitting it off, and to my surprise, we actually signed a deal to do a movie together. Um, and this, uh, honestly, was mind-blowing because she does hundred million dollar movies and you know and here I am a much smaller filmmaker uh, and I can tell you for a fact that that deal never would have happened without the Benton Film Film Festival. So uh, I'd like to tell everyone out there that uh, the Bentonville is probably one of the top tier festivals out there. It's a festival that I'd love to return to not only as a competing filmmaker but also uh, as someone who actually was lucky enough to win an award to kind of like help other filmmakers navigate uh, their festival experience, especially through distribution. Um, but either way, uh, that festival is going to be close to my heart and I love everyone. There's no way that was two or three minutes. I went on way too long. Bye.